on, I gotta get my zoom right. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Me to go, do you? Yeah, are we having another right. lesson? Um, uh, Lara Wall Morrow. Yes. Uh, this machine in front of you, which was lot 231, from um, <gasps> Muse Auction Rooms with my friend um, Julian, who sources them for me. This could have come from anywhere, but he buys these at what's that? no Ross and Y auction auction house. Yeah. But, he, but he's he deals with other dealers. And he put the uh, it's an incredible advantage I've got because he knows other dealers, at least six who are not interested in them at all. They get them for him. Sometimes they must probably give them to him from a house clearance because you can't sell them. I mean, no one is interested in these. Most of the average young person, they don't even know what they are. It's all, you know, it's all on your mobile. Now, what, what is it? This is a, the last series of reel to reel tape by Grundig, which was considered being Grundig, whether you've heard of Grundig, they were considered to be the, the Rolls Royce, well, I shouldn't say that, because the German, the Mercedes of tape machines. And this is possibly the last one in the 60s before the whole thing went over to cassette. Right, here we go. We're off 231. I'll start to sound. Okay. We have to talk about the Phillips. That's British. Now, this press the buttons on here. And off comes the top. And this is a, a Grundig Continental TK120. Okay. Now when I saw it, I, you buy the mass scene, he said it, it looks very good, there are spools, everything's working, that's turning. Now, when I had it, I've been, this is jammed. What I did, for a start, this is jammed, internally jammed. But when I had it, first of all, it wasn't jammed, because possibly the machine has not been run for 30 years, like we don't know something stuck inside so there we are you can't move it you don't force any of these damn things so that's jammed so you can't um, operate the controller but something is running so on and off you will get something and now i won't run it long because this is jammed so the motor's going we turn it off because there's something jammed all i've done prior to use in it is take the top off. There are four screws. This comes off like this. It's on a spline. Gently put that under there. And that comes off. See, people don't know how to get these things apart. That's on a plastic spline. Check this. Taking one, two, three. It's one, two, three, four small uh, Phillips type. Cross, um, cross uh, screws and one big one. And now this now will come off. Make sure she's off. I'll turn the power off for safety. This top comes like this. You've got to be careful because there's a valve under there which is the recording valve. So that's all connected internally. Now, before we do anything, it's not going to go. These are free. That's free. There's something jammed here, and I generally suss it by getting a screwdriver under here. This will be it. So we put this back. It's just there. It's something like this it sticks. There you are. This is sticking. Now it's working. All it is is a little bit of Vaseline, a little bit of lubrication, like sex. <laughs> Makes a lot of difference. So let's take that off. No, it's still jammed. So we got on here, we got stop, which it won't go to stop, but it will now move to start, pause. You see the mechanism here? There's something, there's something sticking here. So we go pause start we're in start position there but ah 
the start position when the roll of the pinch roller goes against the drive there's a pin in there with the main motor mm -hmm. and when that little wheel there which is free with the tape running through there this pinch they call it the pinch roller that goes against the main drive shaft so when you see that going across like that now she's in drive but she's in the wrong position but anyway she's in the drive now so let go but it's not going to go anywhere we'll just go back, we'll go back there you are she's off that's um fast forward that'll be fast forward yeah the spindles that's a pause there's start for um no there's start it's in the wrong somehow it's coming up to start there pause that works something went click stop won't go to stop because there's something something's stuck so it's on this spring here pull that back and now she moves but she won't go that way but i think it's in the wrong position anyway but it's not going to go anywhere because look at this the main drive these are bands drive bands between between the two there. this one's okay but look at this broken so it's not going to go anywhere and all of this is a rubber band oh, okay perished age they that's what happens to them so it's not going anywhere i can't see it in front of your jumper so that connects from the main drive here uh -huh. we try it now with fast forward there's the spindle let's put that up there there's the main spindle that's driving no that is that's the spindle which causes the drive but we should get something I'll make sure I don't electric electrocute myself you've already turned it off you just turned it back on if I don't want to put my finger on I don't want to electrocute myself Level. There shouldn't be power there. Well, turn it off. That's off. So I can put this in some position here just to check. There was current bonding to some drive. So I'll put it back on. What happens? Nothing. Driving against something solid, you see. Don't really touch it, it would be quick. <coughs> Just a, it, it's something because it's it's not turning. Well, let's go. That's a, that's the end of its travel. Not driving that one. So that 
was against it. See the rubber wheel? That hits that and that drives that. There you are. See that? Oop, turn it. That hits that shaft there, but if that's not turning. Oh, I can't see. Hang on. That does that and that drives that. The other way. Do it again. The other way is. No, the other way backs off. See that booster there, but the band. There it was. That's the band that snapped under there, which is driving this. No, the main shaft is driving the pin in there under there. Is that? Oh, that's going. But it's just slack. They're worn. You can't expect it. I'm putting new ones up. There you are. Let's just give it another whirl. the end of that one. Oh, aren't you going to fix it? I'll show you the other one. What? I, uh, aren't you going to fix it? Well, of course I can do all that. Oh, go on then. Well, I can't do it now. Why? Because, he, because all this has got to come apart. And I haven't got that. I haven't got the band anyway. I'm going to get one. Uh, okay. So, you just put it back together. To Pro 10. Put that in, and it's, and it's stuck. You see, it's uh, it's all. Which way does that go? Oh, I can see it now. It's there. Plastic. Well, it should be. Well, it's that way. It's that way. There you are. Bob's your uncle. And Fanny's your aunt. Oh, lovely. They're beautifully made. And if this was considered to be the state of the art machine, dead silent, because anything with rubber bands, with the bands like this, I'll show you the Phillips. Prior to these, there was others that uh, are mechanical. And they didn't use a, a band system, but the problem with the band system, that they snap, but they'll, they'll last 20 years. Well, of course, it is, we don't know what, the history of it, it just snaps. It says, that's it, I've had, I've had my, my life. And it's, by using a rubber band on, on silent motors, the thing is dead silent. Yeah. So, it goes there. I'll show you the Phillips. <laughs> 